All right, what's going on YouTube? Back again. Um, we've had a couple people send us some notes on Facebook about um, what they'd like to see. Um, so we're going to do uh, um, an Arctic cup and we're going to do a base layer color on it and then we're going to show how to kind of troubleshoot and put a clear on top of it. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to do a quick video on prep work because um, I think a lot of the problems people are having with their second coat is getting a good ground and all that kind of stuff. So the best way to avoid that, honest to God, and you probably don't want to do it at your home shop, maybe you do. Um, I went to Lowe's, you can go to like Menards or Home Depot and buy a eight foot long copper grounding rod and hammer it down and you could actually put it outside of the shop if you want and then run a wire through the wall um, this is our setup here so basically i just bought um, a very long wire we put it on a clamp and then it comes back we drilled a hole through our concrete floor which is about uh, six inches deep actually and then we hammered the rod down. It's not fun, it's not easy. Um, and then you put this clamp on it, you put the wire in it, and then we've got a pretty long cord here. So basically that just ensures that we've got a good ground. We actually, if you look, there's a bottle of water right there. Um, sometimes when the ground dries out, you don't get as good of a ground so we pour water down the hole every once in a while when it's dry um, which really actually it sounds dumb but it seems to help so in a lot of other powder coaters I actually that wasn't my idea I got that from another powder coater so that's step one always and I'm going to reiterate that in the second coat video um, but again this is just prep so um, that's a big thing people face when they're doing stuff with these cups it's pretty simple um, we literally just have some paint Pre-paint or paint prep. It's a wax and grease remover. That's what we use on almost everything that comes in, like these raw aluminum or stainless steel um, cups and everything. So we don't sand them, we don't scuff them. There is a brushed finish on them to begin with. Um, it has a little bit of adhesion quality. We don't really, as long as you cook your powder to the right temperature, um, and for the right amount of time, we don't usually have any issues with it. So, um, that's all we do. We'll apply it to the blue shot paper towel. Um, I actually have a spray bottle, so we fill the spray bottle. We put the cup on our hand like that, spray around it, wipe it off with the blue shot towel, and then take the air gun and just blow it off. And that's it. And then it goes right onto the fixture. And that's the other part of the ground. You want to make sure that your rack is grounded. As you can see, there's a ton of paint buildup on this rack. Um, we've done hundreds of cups on it. Um, so we have to scrape it off to get to the bare metal. Make sure your ground's on there good. It makes a huge difference. We use the tin foil here to go around the metal stud, which touches the inside of the cup, which gives us our ground. So we're gonna go ahead and spray this cup. This video got a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, and then I'm gonna post another video a little later about the second coat application with the Eastwood gun because it, it really shows how limited those guns are as far as quality um, and what they can and can't do compared to the professional guns. So that'll be the next video. Make sure to subscribe and we'll catch you on that one.